Hi everyone, welcome to Newcastle Fans TV and I'm joined by a very special guest. I have Hugo Viana. Thank you very much, Hugo, for coming on. And Thank you for, for you to, to have an interview with me. It's a pleasure. Let's quickly talk about um, Newcastle because I may as well grab your opinion. So, Rafa Benitez, will he keep Newcastle up this season? I think so. I think so. I hope so. I hope so. Um, Rafa is he, he show for sure uh, on his past that he is a very good coach. He, he likes also young players, uh, and I think he has he has all the conditions to 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 stay with Newcastle um, for a long time. But of course, he has to do a, a good job. But I, I cannot see Newcastle again on on outside of the Premier League, uh, as as happens before years ago. So I can I can see Newcastle, and I w I wish and I I, I want to see Newcastle the same than than when I was there uh, playing Champions League that, football and yeah, being big. place. Yes, you think that can be achieved if we were to have a new owner to come in? Yes, will take time for sure. Will take time. I think the fans uh, uh, will understand that, and they know that. But uh, I know, I know to to be to be on the top, and as as I played there, the fans will will have a very very uh, huge impact uh, on the club because. You, Newcastle has a, a, a great, great fan. So they they support the team every Sunday. So they go everywhere. Uh, well, there's fifty two thousand in the lower league last year. That tells its own story, doesn't it? Yeah. It's every only, it's only every game. game. I always say uh, Newcastle fans. Uh, a lot of friends say, "Oh, they are crazy." Yes, yes. <laughs> Yeah, they are crazy, but for the club, they 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 make everything. They if they have to go to to London, Malaysia, or oh. to anywhere for friendly. I remember we played there for a, uh, in Malaysia, I think in two thousand four or two thousand three, uh, with against Everton. Was was a tournament with the Premier League team, and a lot of fans went there. So. For for one game or two games, I don't know. Yeah, we're coming. We are coming with this, numbers. We, we can trust them. We can trust them because they will follow us for. for yeah, and considering we never won, considering we never won a trophy for many years, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. you deserve it. You deserve it. Thank you very much. I've got some quick fire questions by the fans. Then, okay. so Chris says, "Did you enjoy your time at Newcastle?" Yes, uh, we have the uh, one one of the things in that that I regret in my my career that uh, at that time I was young very young but I feel that I, I could I could do much better if I if I was more experienced a little bit uh, on the football I could do much better so was f for sure uh, I could I could spend all, all my career in Newcastle for sure okay Bez says do you think when you were at Newcastle did the squad overachieve or underachieve? I think the 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 the, the squad did very very good job, very good job. Uh, uh, it was it was the right person to 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 be in front of the team to to take the team to to win the trophy. As you said, we were very close to win or to to be in the cup final of Euro Europe League. So. I think he, he was he was a very good coach. Uh, he leads the team very well, so I think was was uh, as you said was well achieved. No, I think. yeah, I would agree. I would agree. You're absolutely brilliant team yeah. that was. Justin and Jamie says, "Who's the best player at Newcastle whilst you were there?" Best player for sure, Alan Shearer. Uh, he was, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he could score from everywhere. I remember a game against Everton at home. We were losing, I think, and they scored a goal from 40 yards or something like that. I remember, I think it was against Everton. Was it I the volley? Not... Sorry? Was it one of the volleys? Yeah, yeah. Where Shola heads it up in the air and then... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, his, that's his best ever goal, yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. It's, it's, we, we, can, we, cannot, we cannot say... Nobody could say, Alan will never score a goal from here or there. 
so he could score from everywhere. Also in the training, it was it was uh, unbelievable. What's your favorite game that you were involved in at Newcastle? I remember when uh, I scored a goal in, against Everton at home. Also, and the free kick. Uh, yeah, we qualified with that game. We qualified for Champions League, I think. That's your favorite. Okay. Timothy asks, why didn't it work out at Newcastle? Yeah, it's a good question, but uh, I'm very comfortable with that. So I was, I was young. Uh, I know I had a lot of pressure with, uh, as you said before, I was the golden, the golden boy, and uh, they paid a lot of money for me. Uh, I was also expect to to play in another position because I always played as a, as a left left winger. Some games on on, on the middle uh, as a midfielder, center midfielder. But I understand. Uh, was was Gary Speed there? It was amazing. Was Kieran Dyer? Janus came came after came after one or two months. Uh, it was brilliant also. Didn't work because of that things. Uh, all that things all together and makes makes uh, very difficult for me. But I was uh, I was all the time uh, open to improve myself. Uh, uh, all the time proud to be part of uh, of the Newcastle. So uh, as I said before, I could see myself playing there all all, all my career. I could do better, yes, but I cannot. I cannot say that uh, uh, I was unhappy there. I was happy, yeah, but didn't work more than two years. So I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine, it's fine. Ethan asks, "What is your favorite goal from Newcastle that you scored?" Uh, uh, Zelnia's yeah. call. There was yeah. West Brom, or, Everton, Feyenoord. Yeah, Feyenoord. Maybe as as a, as a special competition as Champions League. So. I could select uh, or elect that that uh, that goal. Okay, right. That is it, Hugo. That's all. Of, that's everything for you. Thank so, you very much. I just want to obviously it's thank you. To speak with you. Thank you very much, and uh, I know it's difficult to understand me. So well no, done. <laughs> also, my English is not the the best. No, your English is really really good. So well done. But thank you very okay. much for obviously coming on the Newcastle fans TV today. Wish you all the best. You all too. the best. Thank Newcastle you, and all thank the you fans. very much. Take care. Thank you.